The stock Hi-Fi system in this G05 is terrible compared to the Alpha One system that Russ will be installing in this video. Welcome back. I'm Dylan with Beamer Tech. Behind me is a gorgeous 2021 BMW G05 that's going to be getting our premium audio amplifier and Alpha One speaker system installed. And this is a fantastic system, especially since during the semiconductor and chip shortage currently happening, the only audio system you can get for this vehicle is BMW's Hi-Fi system. And just look at the difference between our speakers and the Hi-Fi speakers. Ouch. So join me for a step-by-step -step video as Russ installs the Alpha One speakers on this G05. And make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss our installation overview of our premium audio amplifier. Let's get started. Here are the tools you'll need for the job. A screwdriver with a T20 Torx bit, a pick tool, a ratchet with a T50 Torx bit, and some Beamer Tech trim tools. You're also going to need a 10 millimeter socket and you'll find a heat gun helpful for the subs. First, with a pick tool, remove the cover plates here and here. Then with the trim tool, remove the side cover here and the door pin trim, which we couldn't get on video. Next, with a T20 Torx bit, remove the two screws here, one here, one here, one here, and three down here. With a Beamer Tech trim tool, remove the tweeter enclosure and disconnect the tweeter. Then with a mixture of your hands and trim tools, pull off the door panel. Disconnect the single power connector and remove the door handle cable and set the panel aside. Disconnect the lame factory speaker and remove the three T20 Torx screws holding it in place. Connect the factory harness in the in of the Beamer Tech crossover harness. Run the harness like so and tidy everything up so it looks nice and clean. And then plug the mid out into the back of the Beamer Tech A45 mid speaker and screw it into place. Moving on to the tweeter, remove the foam, then take a pick tool and gently pry the factory tweeter out of the housing. Once free, snap the Alpha One tweeter into place. Plug the tweeter into TW out on the crossover harness, not the factory one. Tidy up whatever you can. The housing is in place now on the A-pillar, but you'll want to put the door panel back on first. Reinstall the handle cable and connector. Then pop the door panel back on and reinstall all of the screws you took out and panels you took off. Finish up by reinstalling the tweeter housing. The rear door just has mids and it's very similar to the front. Pop off the trim here, here, and here. Then remove the T220 Torx screws here, the single screw here, here, and the screws along the bottom. Pop off the door panel. Disconnect the single connector and door handle cable and set the panel aside. Disconnect and unscrew the factory speaker. Plug the factory cable into the in of the Beamer Tech crossover harness and tidy everything up. Plug the speaker into mid out and screw it back into place. Reinstall the handle cable, connector, door panel, screws, and cover plate, and the rear is done. 
For the center speakers, start by removing the center grill with your trim tools. Next, you have to remove the speaker housing. Remove all of the T20 screws. Russ also decided to unscrew and disconnect the mid speaker for some extra grabbing room to pull the housing out. Remove the factory tweeter with a pick tool and replace it with the Alpha 1 tweeter. Plug the crossover harness in the same way you did on the front door. Factory harness into in, mid out into the Alpha 1 A40 mid speaker, and TW out into the tweeter. Screw the housing and mid speaker down, then pop the grill back on. For the subs, remove these plastic covers on the seat rails. You may be able to get away with just sliding them off to the side for now, but you will need to take them off later. You need to access the T50 Torx screws holding the seats down. Next, take a T50 Torx bit with a ratchet and remove the two bolts up front and the tube in the back as well. You may need to slide the seat forward and back during this process to access all four. Now carefully tilt the seat back to get access to the sub. Don't disconnect any of the cables. Remove the four T20 screws holding the grill down and remove the grill. You may need something like a 90 degree tool or a short screwdriver for the last one. You'll have to pull the carpet back to get access to the sub. You may find it easier to remove this door sill trim. Pull the carpet back, disconnect the sub, and remove the four screws holding the upper housing in place. Remove that, and remove the 10mm nuts holding the lower housing to the car. And remove the housing with the sub. The sub is glued in, so apply heavy heat to the surround and work on prying the speaker free. Bolt the housing back into place and add the Alpha 1 sub. You can either glue the sub down as it was originally or drill some small screws into the housing through the guide holes in the Alpha 1 sub. After that, simply reverse the process of everything you did before. So there you have it. As you can see, the installation of our Alpha 1 system on this G05 is a simple plug and play process and man, the sound difference is incredible. If you want this system on your G05 so you can ditch that wimpy hi-fi system, head on over to our website and enter your VIN and you will see all the compatible systems available for your vehicle or custom build your own. And make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel so you don't miss our future AMP installation overview video that we will be releasing. And hey, we're on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok as well. Thanks for watching.